They said it wasn't supposed to rain today. I guess they were wrong. Well, good morning, everybody. It's your favorite YouTuber here, Cruise Man. They said it wasn't supposed to rain today. I guess they were wrong. Okay, let's see if I can dry off this seat a little bit. I always carry a couple of these uh, microfibers with me just in case uh, things get wet. That's why we have a trunk or a top box, as some would say. So it is colder today. In fact, I haven't done a moto vlog this year because uh, it's been really, really cold in the mornings, especially. And actually, <clears throat> actually all day long for the last probably, well, since the first of the year, since I got back uh, from West Texas. And so that has kind of uh, put the uh, kibosh on my moto vlogging. But today it was about 46 degrees when I got up, so I thought, hey, I can handle 46 degrees. So I decided to brave the elements. Now, I did not know it was going to rain because I checked the forecast. I checked uh, everybody's, uh, you know, all the weather channels and everything and of course they didn't say anything about rain they did say it was going to rain south of here but not here but the rain has let up for now the streets are wet so it's still a little sketchy i have to be careful obviously and i am at the einsteins in coppel today I was doing a little work on a script for a new video that I'll be coming out with in a couple of days. And uh, the last time I was here, I think somebody put a comment in on my motor vlog uh, talking about how I was parked in a fire lane. I think they saw this red line here. And the fire lane is actually on the other side. The parking spaces are on this side of the fire lane. So you just can't double park or park over there. So I just wanted to make sure everybody understood I wasn't parking in a fire lane. Okay, let's see if we can get out of here without sliding too much. Normally, I would take uh, Highway 121, which I affectionately refer to as the Carrollton International Speedway because of the way people drive so fast. But today, I think I'm going to take the back way just because I don't want to deal with the uh, wet... I don't know, maybe I'll take the highway. It's it's uh, not raining right now. It's about 49 degrees is what my temperature gauge is showing me. I'm kind of surprised that my TPMS light's not... Well, there it goes. I knew, I knew it was coming. It took it a minute to kick in. Yeah, I've only got 36 pounds in the rear tire. Um, when it gets cold out, I really lose pressure in that rear tire. So, it's supposed to get up to 62 degrees today. We'll see if it does. I'm hoping it does because there's a video I'd like to do out in my garage. And I think it's going to be cold for the next few days. So, I have to decide now. Do I want to take the uh, highway, the tollway, back to my place, which is quicker. But I have to deal with people driving 80 85 miles an hour on wet weather people here do not know how to drive in the rain they don't know how to drive when it's dry but I swear when it starts raining they they speed up five or ten miles per hour it's the craziest thing you've ever seen uh, of course I just recently washed the bike so now I'm gonna have to uh, 
wash the bike again. I do have my heated grips and my heated seat on, which is making it a little more tolerable. Now it's down to about 48 degrees. So it's a pretty cool morning. Fortunately, it's not windy because that can really make it uh, uncomfortable in this type of temperature. So 40 degrees is about my limit. If it gets colder than 40 degrees, I usually uh, take the car. But it's not too bad right now. It's, it's pretty dry. I'm not getting wet, so uh, except for my boots, that's uh, pretty good. So tell me in the comments down below what's the weather like uh, where you're living. I know uh, this type of weather is nothing for those of you in Great Britain. You probably deal with this type of weather all the time. We have a lot of subscribers in the UK and other parts of the world where rain is just part of the of the thing you know it's just part of that's just part of riding they're used to it but here in Texas it's not that common also because we don't have as many motorcycles on the road here like you do in some other countries cars are not used to looking out for motorcycles so that just adds to the danger of riding uh, in the United States because now there's exceptions places like Tennessee uh, North Carolina, they get a lot of motorcycle riders in those areas because of the, the nice, uh, you know, the good riding in those areas. So drivers are probably a little more used to motorcycles. But here in Texas, it's not as common. And I would say even since I started back riding about, uh, well, back in 2005, I see even less or fewer, I should say, I see even fewer motorcycles on the road. Uh, than I used to because I don't know if it's dropped in popularity or if it's just because of the area in which we live but uh, I just don't see as many motorcyclists on the road as I used to um, maybe 10 years ago 15 years ago I did uh, put out my behind the scenes video of how I shoot a a shop video. I did that uh, yesterday. I actually put that video out. And I am going to be working on a behind the scenes video on my... Let me pull this up a little bit. Get us a little better angle. How's that? There's no need for you to see, you know, my dash and glove box. You're probably more interested in the road ahead. But uh, the behind the scenes I'm working on uh, for the motor vlogs to kind of uh, go through how I shoot a motor vlog. I will also be doing a behind the scenes video on my studio videos. And I will be doing another, probably the last in the series will be a video on how I edit my videos. So that'll just be from my, in my office. I finally do have all of the uh, equipment now in. I have my new monitor. I have my mouse and keyboard uh, because I'm using my laptop now as my computer. And now I have everything uh, as far as a desk setup for editing that I need to be able to do my uh, behind the scenes editing video. So I'll be doing that shortly. Uh, I don't know, it could be a few weeks away. Just depends on other projects I have. I have a product review video uh, that I will be shooting in the studio probably tomorrow. This is a Saturday right now, and uh, I think it's going to get colder tomorrow, so I don't think I'll be able to ride. Uh, I think it's going to get down into the 20s tonight, and then possibly uh, even colder than that. So we'll just have to see. Uh, what the what the weather's like. I will be meeting Don for breakfast in the morning at the lake. And we'll just have to see. So you're kind of seeing my back road, which is the way I decided to go. I just decided to take the back road. I'm up here on Hebron Parkway heading 
uh, actually heading east on these wet, uh, wet roadways we didn't get a lot of rain so it didn't there probably wasn't enough rain to wash away all of the uh, oil and that's when you have to really be careful on a motorcycle because these streets can be super slick when that water mixes with that oil if you have a heavy rain it will wash all that away but if you just have a light rain like we have today uh, you can actually have a really really slippery roadway so it's important to really be cautious and be aware of that when you're riding on streets that are wet but not they didn't get a good hard washing rain And if you guys have any tips on riding in the rain or on wet roads, put them in the comments down below. Let everybody benefit from your experience. Uh, you know, I don't have that much experience riding in the rain. Obviously, I don't even have rain gear on today. But it's not wet and it's not raining hard enough. I'm getting a little bit on my helmet. You can probably see on my face shield. You can see there's water on the on the windshield, but. I'm not really getting enough rain to make it necessary to wear rain gear right now. It's, it's just a tiny bit of drizzle. And in case you're wondering what these hills are up ahead, it's actually a landfill. Should probably put the bike into rain mode. I forgot to do that, but I will do it now. So now I just put the bike into rain mode. And that should um, reduce my engine RPM a little bit, make it a little bit more, uh, less abrupt, I should say, on acceleration so that uh, it, it will prevent the back tire from breaking loose under acceleration. I think that's basically what it does. It alters the shift points on the transmission and maybe even the throttle response so you don't get as much power when you uh, crank open the throttle in rain mode as you would say in tour mode yeah it's just not a pretty day to ride it's just kind of miserable um, you know but even a miserable day riding is better than a day when you can't ride i'd rather be riding on a miserable day than not riding the only thing I'm noticing, I got a new pair of jeans for Christmas and I'm wearing those jeans right now with my Bond armor underneath and uh, these new uh, jeans are very cold. They are not blocking the wind as well as my previous uh, blue jeans did. So I'll have to take a note of that next time I ride on a cold morning. I need to wear my other jeans. And honestly, I should be wearing my Dragon jeans because those are a heavier denim. And they also have the Kevlar and they are much warmer than normal blue jeans. I do not have the thermal Bond Armor uh, underwear for the bottom. I do for the top. That's what I'm wearing today. Is I'm wearing that thermal Bond armor underneath this jacket. I do not have the armor in my Olympia jacket. I removed that armor and I'm using the armor that's in the Bond armor thermal shirt. Now I also have my rainproof or waterproof liner on top of the Bond armor and it does block in super cold weather, what I call super cold weather it does do a better job of blocking the wind it's kind of like a windbreaker you might say but it's also waterproof so I want to thank you for joining me today on this ride home from Einstein's bagels if you enjoyed this video I would very much appreciate it if you would click that like button and of course if you haven't already done so please subscribe and click the subscribe button and the, and the notification bell much appreciated any help you can give the channel i appreciate it i will see you on the next cruise bands motor vlogs